Hello everyone, good morning to all of you. Uh, we were doing in mathematics in the last class statistics and we had already solved uh, one section from that that is uh, what we call calculating mean and we had used uh, two methods one was the direct method and the other was the step deviation method and it is uh, it was quite simple today we will be continuing with this statistics and we are going to do slightly different it is basically the same the formula will be also same but here the frequency will be missing so i have taken one icic question and uh, i'm going to solve it for you so let us read the question first here the question is like this it is icic 2010 the mean of the following distribution is 52 so and the frequency of the class interval 30 to 40 is f so this is the class interval 30 to f and the this is the missing frequency but the mean of all this class interval is already given to you that is 52 so here this is slightly different here the frequency is missing so we have to calculate but the process the steps will be same we have to start in the same way uh, how to calculate the mean so for that we will be taking a step deviation method which will be easier then let us uh, continue first we have to write down the table in a vertical format and find the mean and in the mean will be it, it is it is already given there so anyway let us start now so we write class interval then we make a column like this then since the class interval it is grouped so you can name it as 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 to 70 and 70 to 80 so now we know in the last time uh, what we have to do for the second column we have to keep it uh, for the class mark that is xi and in the third we will write down the frequency which is already given here so write down the frequency 5 3 this see this is the missing frequency f then you have got 7 2 6 and 13 okay so now we have got in the third column since we are trying to find by step deviation method we have to find ui last time i have told you the formula of ui which is x minus a upon d in the last class we have taken c but you can take it as a d also it doesn't matter a is uh, okay first you let, let us find the xi 10 plus 20 30 divided by 2 it is 15 20 plus 30 is 50, 50 divided by 2 is 25. Now see, there is a difference of 15, 10, so you go on adding 10. 35, this is 40, uh, sorry, 45, you have to go on adding 10. 55, 65 and 75. <coughs> now, choose one, so this will be your A, this is in the middle. See, A is the assumed mean, which we have to put here, since it is in the center, so A is 45. So this is slightly not clear, but I hope you have understood. So let us calculate the first UI, then the rest you can find it in a sequence. 15, 15 minus 45 is minus 30, all right? It is minus 30. Then look at the class size, it is 10. So minus 30 by 10, 0, 0 cancel, you get minus 3. So I, I have done this mentally 15 minus 45 is minus 30 divided by 10 see the class size so 0 0 cancel minus 3 now you have to see the sequence you have increased the number so it becomes minus 2 all right then you have got minus 1 then you have got 0 then you have got 1 2 and 3 now in the next column you have to multiply fi ui okay so when you multiply fi ui just see this how it is multiplied it is quite simple there 
So go on multiplying now. Minus 15. Minus 6. Minus F. 7 zero zero zero, 2 1 zero 2. 2 6 zero 12. 13 3 zero 39. These two will be minus 21. Add this two. Add this three. Four plus nine thirteen. Fifty three. Yes, fifty three. Okay. Then there is minus F also. Fifty three minus. Fifty three minus twenty one will be. Thirty two. Yes. So summation F I U I will be. 32 minus F. If you see here, this minus is also there. See, these two you have added, minus 21. These three you have added, 53. 53 minus 21 is 32. And this minus F is also there. So this is your summation because F is unknown here. Similarly, you have to find the summation of Fi. If you look at the summation, you add all this. After adding this quickly, we will get it as 36 plus this F is unknown, so that F also has to be added. See there, this is 36 plus F, 36 by adding all this. Okay, so now let us find the mean by step deviation method. By step deviation method, we have learned the value of the mean is a plus d into summation fi ui divided by summation fi. Now, in the <coughs> previous class, this class size we have used here as c, but we can basically the standard one is d. So now, in this formula, the main thing here is the mean is given to you and that is 52. If you see here, 52 is the mean. So we have to substitute that 52 here. And A is your 45, which is the assumed mean. D is the class size, which is 10. Summation FI UI, it is given 32 minus F. So that needs to be put inside a bracket. And summation FI is 36 plus F. This also you put it in a bracket. You take this to the other side, it becomes 7, yes or no. Then 36 plus F equals to 10 into 32 minus F. So here it is a simple cross multiplication. 36 plus F will go because you are already 7. 7 because how you got 7? By subtracting this. Okay, now you have to open the bracket. It's very, very easy. 7 into <coughs> 36 will be... 252 multiply that plus 7f 320 minus 10f now it is a very very simple solution you just have to cross multiply this sorry not cross multiply transpose uh, minus 10 will go here and become 7 so 7 plus 10 will be 17f uh, 252 will come this and subtract so 320 minus 252 you do it will be 68 then f will be 68 by 17 then if you multiply 17 forza so 17 forza is here 68 so what is the missing frequency the missing frequency here is 4 okay so this is also one of the important questions this type of questions will also come where you have a missing frequency and it is very very important everything is same the formula we have used is also same the step deviation method and here we have a class interval that we have to change into class mark then we have a frequency given to you then you have to use this formula only the first one you have to calculate then you have to follow the sequence then this summation you have to add minus minus you have to add separately plus plus you have to add separately then again you have to subtract this so this is a summation fi ui and this is a summation fi addition of all this okay so here this is a problem with one missing frequency but sometimes you also get 
where there are two missing frequencies. So I'm going to solve that next one, where you have two missing frequencies. This is also an ICS equation where you have a missing frequency. Uh, it is, if you see here, in the class interval 20 to 40, missing frequency is P, and another class interval 60 to 80, missing frequency is Q. So two missing frequencies are missing here. Uh, the mean of the following frequency is 57.5. <coughs> The mean is given to you. And one more thing is also given here. See, the sum of all the frequencies is 50. So, the sum is already given to you 50. Because there are two unknowns. For that reason only, the sum of the frequency is given. Find the values of P and Q. So, let us start. We have to follow the same uh, pattern, same method. We have to write in the vertical. So, let us start. Class interval. Zero to twenty, twenty to forty, forty to sixty, sixty to eighty, eighty to hundred, hundred to one twenty. Second column you will leave it blank for the class mark xi. In the third you write down the frequency fi seven. P is the missing frequency twelve. Q is another missing frequency eight and five. So, first of all, we start by uh, filling this class mark. So, it is very, very simple. 20 plus 0 is 20 divided by 2, 10. 20 plus 40 is 60, 60 divided by 2 is 30. Now, see the pattern, see the gap. 10 plus 20, so you go on adding 20, 90, and 110. Okay. Now, let us find ui. ui will be xi minus a upon d so let us choose one x i uh, a here that is assumed mean so i'm taking it as 50 you can also take 70 if you want but okay 50 is also fine no problem and the class size if you see here it is 20 class size is 20 all right so i'm going to do this now mentally xi 10 minus 50 is minus 40 yes or no minus 40 divide by 20 so minus 40 divided by 20 is minus 2 i hope you got it it's quite simple 10 minus 50 is minus 40 keep that in mind minus you should not not forget because you are subtracting small number from the bigger number so 10 minus 50 is minus 40 divide by 20 so it will be minus 2 now you just have to follow the sequence zero go on increasing the number then fi ui everything is same here all right so in the third you just multiply this two seven into minus two 14 minus p zero q into one q eight into two 16 five three is a 15. now if you see your summation fi the sum of the, all the frequency if you add your p plus q is unknown but if you see there in the question the sum of all the frequency is 50 take this sentence the sum of all the frequency is 50 so here it is already given to you 50 now summation fi ui if you look at summation fi ui then you have to follow the same pattern Minus 14 is there, add this to it is 31, 31 minus 14 is 17, then you have got minus P here, then you have got plus Q. So, there is P and Q, so two unknown. Two unknown, you cannot solve in one equation. So, you have to make two equations. How can you make two equations? Now, let us go to the summation Fi. Can you add this separately and what will be the total? Total will be 50, yes or no? So just see this summation fi if you add all this the total is equals to 50 so let us add this how much will you get if you add this 7 plus 12 plus 8 plus 5 uh, 20 25 32 you will get 32 
plus p plus q. 32 plus p plus q is equals to 50. See, we are trying to make the first equation here. We are not using any formula. We have added this, this summation fi. It is already given to you 50, but still we can add yes or no. So uh, when you add this, how much you'll get? 32 plus p plus q. So now from here, you will get equation number one. 50 minus 32 is 18. So this becomes your equation number one. Now we need to make the equation number two because there are two unknowns. Now that equation number two can be obtained from the formula of the mean. So we know by step deviation method, step deviation method, let me write down the formula quickly. You must have learned the formula by heart by now. Now, what is your mean given to you? The mean is already given to you, your 57.6. So substitute there. Now, what is your assumed mean A, 50? What is your class size, 20? What is summation FIUI? My 17 minus P plus Q upon. Now, what is your summation FI? Your you have to put 50 because it is already given 50 all right so this will come here and you will subtract 57 minus 50 is uh, 7.6 cancel 17 minus p plus q upon 500 zero zero will cancel this 5 will go and cross multiply here 5 into 7.6 will give you 38.0 27 34 minus 2p plus minus plus 2q all right okay, let us go to the next page now see 38 this is how you got 5 went here open the bracket 34 will go here and become 4 you have got minus 2p plus 2q so if you divide both you'll get 2 minus p plus q so this is your equation number 2 so equation number two you got is minus p plus q equals to two. Equation one is p plus q equals 18. Solve this equation one and equation two. If you solve these two equations, you will get the answer. Solving equation one and equation two. What is your equation one? p plus q equals to 18. And what is your equation two? Minus p plus q equals to 2 all right now this is like solving the simultaneous linear equations it is like solving the simultaneous linear equations so what you have to do here is very very easy just add them directly so when you are adding no need to change any sign p minus p will cancel q plus q will be 2q 18 plus 2 will be 20 all right so now it's very very easy the value of q will be 10 so we got the first frequency 10 now substitute the value of q in the first equation so p will be 18 minus 10 will be 8 so these are the two missing frequencies so it is quite simple in case of the missing frequencies you don't have to do anything extra you have to just find the what do you call you have to find the uh, mean by using the same formula same technique but only difference is in this question the value of the mean will be given to you so in place of that you substitute this and here since there are two missing frequencies so uh, you have to make two equations so the first equation the sum of the frequencies also given in the question so this type of question where you have two missing frequencies also very very important from your exams point of view so mean we have almost covered everything so the missing frequency is also same the rest of the questions are also same okay okay so now uh, if you look at your textbook 
all the questions are same users you have to find the mean of the following distributions etc etc uh, the missing frequency is also there so in the median when you have a next topic that is median median is nothing but it is the central value the value which is in the middle see when you talk of median So median will be only a value which is at the middle or in the central value. Central value, uh, if but one condition is there, if the data or the variates or the variables are it is arranged in the ascending or descending order. If the variate are arranged. So one note you have to keep in mind, you just have to, you cannot take out the central value randomly, but the statistical data, statistical data, or it is also called variates or variables must be arranged in ascending or descending order then only you can find the median now there will be two cases here when you have the what you call uh, okay so now when you have the even number then there will be two central values so you have to add them up to and divide by two that will give you the median when you have an odd number of data, then it is easy to find the one central value. So there is one ICC question based on this. 2016, I'll solve this quickly for you. The mean of the following numbers is 68. Find the value of X. So see, the numbers given, there are about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 numbers are given. 45. Uh, 52, 60, X is unknown, okay, then you have got 69, then you have got 70, then 26, 81 and 94, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so there are 9 uh, data or the variables given to you, so first of all, the mean, this one of the number is unknown so it is impossible to find the median here because you do not know this number and you cannot rearrange them in ascending or descending so first of all in this question the mean of the following numbers is given to you so given see the mean is given to you as 68 68 is the mean of this number now how will you find the mean of this number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you have to add all this, the sum of the observations, sum of all the data divided by the number of observations. So that is how we find the mean. Sum of observations divided by the total number of observations. So let us find this. This is the basic or the basic formula of the mean. What is the mean given here in the question 68 and sum of observations you have to add all this in this case it is not in a group so no no need to apply that step deviation it is not applicable here here it is a simple straight addition 1 45 plus 52 plus 60 you have to add like this plus x also you have to add because x is also one of the number but its value is not given divided by 9 there are 9 numbers ok so like this you have to add now if you add this all the numbers 45 uh, here I already added it is 497 plus x is unknown divided by 9 all added so now you take 9 and cross multiply there so 9 into 68 will give you 612 497 plus x all right now it is very easy to find the value of x you just have to transpose it go that side so you will get 115 
So the value of x is 115. So x now here it is 115. In fact, x x is the biggest number. Yes or no? If you see. Now, next part of the question is estimate the median. So you have to find the median. So in order to find the median, now you have to rearrange this. All right, you have to rearrange the data in the ascending order. Let us write in the ascending order. See. I'll write that data first here, okay. 45. So which is the smallest? 26. After 26, what will be there? 45. After 45, you have 52. After 52, you have 60. Then 69. Then you have 70. Then you have 81. Then you have 94. And the biggest one is 115, which was unknown, the value of x. Now this is arranged. This is the first step to find the median. Now it is quite simple. Since it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It is a 9 observation odd. So the fifth observation, the half of this will be fifth observation. That is this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So this is the central value. So therefore, median of this data will be 69. So this is the ICS equation will come in 2016. So this is a uh, median is also very easy. We will be solving a uh, few questions more on median. Then after that median we have got a mode. Then maybe after the mode, I think we have got some. Okay, I'll just show you there. Do we have uh, this time? indices or not sorry yes we have this graphical graphical re representations histogram and ozai okay less than ozai. so this histogram and ozai will be doing in the next class the median i think is very very simple the mode also will solve one or two is also quite easy okay uh, please keep on practicing and do all the assignments that whatever is there in your textbook, especially solve all the ICAC questions. Thank you very much.